When I first came to Morgantown as a WVU student, I met Ed Flowers who attended CMA Church. And we started working out together. And before every workout, we read 1 Timothy 4.8. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. So I valued exercise, but as I got older, life got busier. And exercise began to fall by the wayside. And as that happened, I discovered that my energy levels and general health started to decline. So today we're going to hear from Corey and Jess, who aren't professional trainers, but they have been fairly consistent and they have seen results and they're going to give us some advice. Hey, we're Corey and Jess Heiss, and we're here to talk to you today about fitness. <laughs> Exercise has often been a part of our lives, but recently we've developed more of a passion for it as we've seen and we feel the variety of benefits that come with being physically active. Fitness is for everyone. It will and should look a little bit different for each person because we are unique. We cannot deny the fact that our bodies are designed for movement. So let's talk about what we can do to better our lives and our bodies through being active and healthy eating. We think of physical fitness as a triangle comprising of exercise, nutrition, and rest. Each part is crucial to seeing and maintaining results. It has been said that muscles are challenged with exercise, built during rest, and revealed through nutrition. So no matter what your fitness goals are, each of these components are going to be essential. Every person is going to struggle with at least one of these areas, but as you become consistent with one, you may notice the other two becoming easier to do as well. So we want to share a few principles that have helped us immensely in our fitness journey. The first thing is identify your motivation. A strong why makes all the difference. So for me, I looked in the mirror one day and I had one of those moments where I suddenly realized that I wasn't happy with the way that I looked or the way that I felt or the way that I thought about myself. And ultimately I realized that the man that I wanted to be and was trying to become wasn't consistent with what I saw in the mirror. So my motivation became that I'm gonna strive to become the man that I wanna be. So my patterns of exercise, nutrition, and rest, which were really almost non-existent at that point, had to change. And my motto became that every rep and every set takes me closer to being the man that I wanna be. And in that way, the gym became not just the place where I trained my body, but it's also another place where I trained my character. Also, uh, for motivation, inviting a friend to join you can be a great way to help with motivation. But it's important to have enough, a strong enough reason to keep going, even if your friend needs to take a break. Also, have short-term measurable goals. This enables you to see progress and provides encouragement. Don't just rely on a scale for measuring weight. Record your lifting weights, how many reps, total time of exercising. Measure your body, inventory your energy level and sleep quality. You don't have to do all these things, but pick one thing that will help you best track your progress to meet your goal. My recommendation is start somewhere. Doing something is better than doing nothing. And really in your first six months, you can do almost anything that you want to and see results, as long as you're consistently addressing the areas of nutrition, exercise, and rest. If you want help picking a program that's right for you, Jess and I'd be happy to point you in the right direction. And don't feel like you have to know everything before you start. If you wait to know everything before you start, you'll never actually start. Feel free to try different things. You have the freedom to adjust your workout routine, but the key component to change is just showing up consistently. Jess loves this phrase, do your best and forget the rest. If you want some help in starting or taking the next steps in your fitness journey, or if you want to work out with Corey or I sometime, contact us or let the church office know and they can connect you with us. We are excited to hear about the start of your fitness journey. So I've been working out with Corey the past few weeks. It helps to work out with a friend that can hold you accountable. So I encourage you to find a friend and be active. Hey, Mr. Ward, can I have my weights back? Yeah, 